Okay, class, um, my video kind of cut off, so I'm going to finish it. <clears throat> but um, well, all I was saying was that this kind of group is so activating to EAS that you don't really need a catalyst. And you can do this with O or N. You can add, it's only with bromine. It's only with bromine and chlorine, but you don't need a catalyst. It'll just brominate, and it would brominate orthomopara because this group is an OP director and it's activating. Um, the other thing to realize is that the catalyst frequently will complex with the Lewis base here, and that deactivates it because it becomes positively charged. It would go from an OP director to a meta director, and I want you to start thinking about that. So that was our little synthetic problem. Um, the other thing I wanted to do was a little accompaniment, and I am going to post the answers to everything. If the, people think I'm not, you will get those answers by, month, by Sunday. Um, but um, I wanted to talk a little bit about resonance structures really quick, and um, I want to try something that somebody suggested to me. So I had, my kind of, I had my method I showed you in class, okay? And someone suggested to me a different method, all right? So I'm going to see if it works. And the method is count the number of pi bonds in the aromatic system. And I'm, going, I'm doing this raw here, okay? Count the, and I kind of like the idea. Count the number of pi systems in the system and then just arrange them around the outside of the ring. So in other words, go right to the big ring, cycle it around, and then just start doing all the permutations. Okay, so let's see if it works. If it doesn't work, I'll go back to my old method. All right, so the one we had trouble with was, you know, like something like this is easy. Okay, but the one we had trouble, we had a little trouble in class with this guy. Okay, and I actually drew it wrong. So, but anyway, it was drawn like, it should have been drawn like, like this. And remember, pi bonds belong to both rings. And what we're trying to do is show all the places the pi bonds can be. And my methodology was cycle around each benzene ring until everything's on the outside, then start cycling back until you get redundancy. And this one, it was kind of hard. It didn't work very well. This was the first time my method failed. So what a student suggested in class was she said, why don't we just count up the pi bonds and put them around the edges right from the get-go? So let's do that. This actually is a resonance form. We do want to generate it eventually. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 pi bonds. So we're going to erase them all. This may work better for you guys. Get rid of them. And the goal is to get all the pi bonds on the outside ring. All right, what do I mean by the outside ring? I view this as a giant aromatic ring. And there are two significant resonance forms that come from that. So what she suggested was take this, I think, cycle it around. So I'm gonna, this is what we called carouseling when we were joking around in class. This is carouseling. Carousel. So we just took the nine pi bonds and arranged them. Okay? So I'm carouseling. Oops, I went the wrong way. The ones that have these little breaks in them. are like the harder ones to do. Okay, so now the pi bonds are here, and that may look the same to you, but it's not the same. It's okay that you skip there. I get a little spazzy when I'm doing this. Okay, now this was her idea. Let's see where this goes. And then where to go from here? Um, what she suggested was, I believe, after you do this, cycle in these, okay? So let's see what happens here. Um, okay, so I'm just going to work my way across cycling, and if I work my way across, I do not see a benzene ring here, but I do see one here, so I'm going to cycle it. I think there's like six for this one, so let's see if this works. I'm going to do it with both of them, and excuse me because these rings are going to get kind of small and not so pretty looking. Okay, so I'm keeping everything, how am I for time? It's four minutes. Okay, I'll be done in a minute. So I'm keeping everything the same. I just cycled this benzene ring. Again, you kind of lose track of what you're trying to do. And what you're trying to do is show all the places those pi bonds can be. All right, so I did that. Then I would go up here and cycle this one around. So let's do that. Okay, now we've got how many resonance forms. Now, uh, this may be a better method. I'm always open to suggestions. Students come up with very good ideas about how to do things, and a lot of the things I do, I did learn from my students. I didn't always come up with it myself. Okay. 
Now these are different resonance forms because you'll see there are pi bonds in different locations. Now, once we have done that, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get them all, but let's see what happens. So let's go back to this original form. I'm going to take all these arrows off because they're very distracting to me. So let's take them off if we can. It's probably still looking kind of distracting. Okay. So what would you do with this one? So this, so the idea here would be you'd have two bases sets, each with them all the way on the outsides. So what would be my next um, maneuver here? Hmm. I've never done this before this way, so let's see what happens. What I would do is I'd say, well, I see a benzene ring here, so let me cycle it. I hope it's not going to be just like one we already have. I have a feeling it's going to be. I don't think this is going to make it for me. I'm going to have to refine this method, I think. We didn't, it was kind of like a very quick thing that was said in class, and I just started thinking about it. But you can see what I'm doing is I'm trying to come up with all the combos. So say I go here, 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 and let's look at what the rest of this looks like now. So if this looks exactly like something we have already, this is not working too well. But we'll see. You might still have to do some permutations to get them all. I hope this is different. I don't think it is. I think this is like one I already have. So let's see what we got here. It's a different molecule. Um, let's see. Are you commenting on this? <laughs> I, just let me work on it. So let's see what I did here. I mean, I messed it up. I think my husband's saying I messed it up. I don't know. I screwed it up. Where was it? I was coming from here. I cycled this. This was down here. What did I do? I did something. Oh, it's totally different. He's right. Yes. He's right. It's a different molecule. He's right. Okay. I'm having like a bad moment right now. I'm having a bad cyclohexane moment. Okay, so let me go back. He is right. My husband is not a chemist, and he, even he could see that it was not the same molecule. All right, so, and I'm sure you were all yelling that from your homes. Okay, so the thing is, did I generate one of the others? So let's look at this. This, to me, looks like either this one. Hey, maybe it's its own thing. That's cool. So let's see. This ring is just like this one. All right. This part, I would say, is different. That's awesome. So then what would we do? I think that's unique. I'm going to go over this. But I think it's unique. But the idea is they have to have the pi bonds in different positions. So we've got, so far, we've got one, two, three, four, five. And there's only one more. This worked really well, I think. I'm not a 100% believer yet. So what would I do next? I see a benzene ring there. Notice how I'm doing them sequentially still. This is the same method, but a different sequence to it. All right, so let's see if this is just like one I already drew. Okay, so, all right. Let's see. I don't know why I'm having trouble drawing this today. Okay, so then we're doing this, boop, boop, boop. By the way, this problem is not easy. All right, so um, does this look like anything we already drew? Now this, to me, that this is the same as that one, so we were redundant. I think we're missing one here, so I'm gonna have to work on it a little bit. But this methodology was first arrange them around the outside, then do the big cycle, and then on each one, do the permutations. Now, it looked like it worked pretty well, but I feel like I'm missing one. So I might have to do a little more on it. Um, you can also try the other method that I showed in class and that I showed on another video. Okay, how much time do I have left? That's nine minutes. Okay, so um, I'll see you in class on Monday.